All right, what's going on, Shaholics? Rich here, down the Jersey Shore, on a beautiful early December morning. And uh, take a look at this. We got some birds out there behind me, working on some bait. And I saw a few splashes, so there's definitely fish here. And uh, it's so nice out. I probably should have launched the kayak, but uh, you know, most of the fish have been small around. So we're gonna try something different. We're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit. We're gonna break out the new 10 weight sage. And uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been wanting to fly fish the ocean front this fall and try and catch some stripers. So we're probably just gonna work the jetties and fish the troughs along them. And that's how we're gonna try and catch fish. Uh, right now it's I think the beginning of the outgoing tide and we're actually on a full moon tide today for the last couple days. So, um, you know, for the rest of the morning and the after and early afternoon we'll have outgoing water. And hopefully that's the right tide. But uh, I'm gonna hit this jetty right, you know, first because there's a lot of deep water along it, nice little troughs. So we'll just give it a shot. Lots of good white water here. We're starting with, out with a little bait fish imitation or peanut bunker imitation fly. I'll give you a little closer look later if uh, you actually catch fish on it. Might have to try and let it sink down for a little bit. Get it right along that sand. Oh, I got one. Right on the edge of the rocks. I was about to turn and run away from a big wave coming in. Whoa. Here we go. See you later, little buddy. All right, we got one. So that was kind of a cool catch because that little striper actually spit up a live sand eel. And uh, here's a closer look at the fly that I'm using. <laughs> it doesn't really match a sand eel, but you know, in this kind of high rough water, especially this time of year, these little schoolie stripers are probably gonna hit anything. Oh, there's another one right at the rocks. Oh, that guy set himself free. The wave hit him and popped him off. I came to this side of the jetty because the other side was like way too rough. Seemed like a lot more waves started rolling in right after I caught that one. Oh, another one. Using a 30 pound floral leader so I can lift these guys right up. A little bigger than my first one. Really choked it. Got him in the top of the mouth, or top of the throat. <laughs> Not a bad little fella. That's number two. I'm casting it out and kind of letting it do its thing, just sink down, kind of counting to like five or 10. And then, uh, you know, just slowly stripping it along. And the last two bites were just right along the rocks, just like my first bite. Oh, there's another one. Oh, missed them, got off. That fish was a little bit further from the rocks too. All right, let's make a move to another jetty. So if you guys are new to my channel, then uh, you probably don't know, but uh, this season, you know, I set a goal to try and catch uh, a 20 pounder on the fly rod from the surf or the kayak. And uh, I definitely picked a bad season to do it. If you've been fishing a lot, you know that uh, this year has been 
you know, a schoolie fest, especially this fall. And uh, this fall was my last hope effort after breaking my fly rod and then, you know, waiting till the new one came. But uh, we're gonna try this little jetty. You know, it's just south of the jetty we were just fishing. And uh, I've never fished a spot, so we're just gonna give it a shot. All right, we gave it, you know, 30 minutes here, not a tap. Jellyfish. Jelly Frisbee. Came back to the same jetty I was catching fish on before, except now the water's a lot lower and uh, it's not as rough. Just wanted to try it before I went to the next jetty over. There's one. This jetty's the sweet spot today. Well, that's what we're working with. Better than catching nothing. Fight harder than a largemouth bass. Oh, did I just say that? Sorry, freshwater guys. Stripers fight harder. For sure. All right, so the tide's definitely getting low pretty quick. This uh, full moon tide is really having an effect. Look at this jellyfish frisbee. Oh, so we're gonna work a little bit further north and uh, fish a couple more spots that, you know, the water is kind of deep next to the jetties, so maybe the fish will still be holding in there. Okay, final jetty we're gonna fish. Still got some decent depth on this jetty just because there's like a deeper trough right here towards the end. Let's see if there's some fish. Come on, stripers. Snapped off my fly somehow. Yep, there it is. That doesn't happen every day. Man, oh man, this full moon tide is pulling out a lot of water. And uh, that's probably one of the reasons why that one jetty produced all my fish for the day. And uh, then as I bounced around and fished other jetties, you know, that tide just kept getting sucked out and the water kept getting lower and lower and was just pulling out all those fish. So at least we hit that one spot when we did. But I guarantee you if I hit any of these other jetties along this beach during the same time of the tide that I hit that other spot, you know, I probably would have caught some fish. Uh, you know, I've usually fished like all the jetties along this stretch of beach, which are really no, you know, different than the jetties from, you know, say Long Branch all the way to Seaside, you know, they all have troughs, some produce more fish than others, but usually during the right tide and good, you know, good water clarity, good conditions, they're always going to have some fish on it. And uh, I'm actually kind of feeling good. I don't know if I'm going to head home now or keep fishing. Uh, you know, my arms aren't too fatigued. I'm using my 10 weight Sage with, uh, and this is a three seven eighths ounce. So it's not too heavy. And then I got my LA 4.5 Islander. And uh, yeah, didn't catch any big fish today. 13 inches, I think was the smallest. 
probably like 17 18 inches was the biggest but uh hey you know it was fun it's better than uh, catching nothing and you know these stripers fight harder than you know some of the freshwater fish so anyway i think i'm gonna get out of here i hope you guys enjoyed if you got any questions just post a comment and uh you know look in the description for any more information about tackle and equipment and never forget live to fish fish to live and i'll see you guys in the next one